Welcome to LDT's Point Cloud Server for the North Shropshire 132 KV Trident Line project. The purpose of this server is to allow you to visualise LiDAR data along with the route. So in order to uh, navigate around, first of all you must have your mouse cursor on the terrain so that it can um, have a pivot point or a panning point. So to, to move and pivot the view you simply right click and then pivot your mouse around and that will allow you to pivot and if you left click you can then pan the view and move around the map to find out where you want to get to. If ever you get stuck and you, you don't know how to get out just simply refresh the browser and it will reset you back to the initial view. There's also lots of um, points of interest that have been marked along the route and you simply click on the text and it will take you to that point of interest uh, predefined pre view. So you can be able to visualize the whole route and then um, use it as part of the planning process or part of the logistics process. It just makes it easier to see the LiDAR in its context and to uh, see where all the trees are and the vegetation. Uh, there's also a menu on the side. If you click the little box, the hamburger menu, it opens up and gives you lots of options where you can set the view, the display, um, there's also measurement tools and there's also additional view options which will allow you to take different viewpoints of the data. You can even uh, use standardized views such as top which will give you a top-down view of the route. So by using this um, you can look at the data in different ways and just move yourself around and navigate the map. Uh, there is another option of uh, being able to measure so we'll show you how to use the measure tool now we'll take for example a tree where we want to measure the height of the canopy so we simply zoom in and set the view where we want we click on the height measure tool and if we take a point on the top of the canopy it then takes a, a measurement at 90 degrees down to any ground point that we select which will give us the vertical height of features such as trees or any other feature in the point cloud. We can also mark single points by going to the point measurement tool which will give you the coordinates in OSGB of the area that you're interested in. You can also use the line measurement tool where you can take a segment of line strings and it will give you the the distance between the points so you simply right click to end the line measurement tool. If you do refresh the browser all those measurements are only temporary, they don't get stored on the server, so beware. If you do refresh it, you will lose your measurements. They can be saved, however, in JSON and DXF format from that menu. Another feature is being able to use the cross-section view. So all the sections of the route have been added onto the server, so you can go in and find the section and also the poll numbers for the particular section of interest. So simply highlight the section that you're interested in, scroll down and you'll see this show 2D profile view and that will open up another box which will then slowly generate the sectional view of the point cloud and you can also change the width if you so desire. This will allow you to work out any vertical features that are in the line and also to work out what the slopes and their level changes are along the route. So that's uh, just a quick overview of the LDT Point Cloud Server. If you have any difficulties or any problems, just feel free to reach out to us. We're here to help and we hope you enjoy using our Point Cloud Server. Thank you.